TCP and UDP communications. Generate network traffic in simulation mode and view multiplexing. Generate traffic to populate address resolution protocol, ARP tables. Click multi server. This is the multi server. And click here and click uh, desktop tab, common prompt. Enter ping option N1, 192.168.1.255 is the broadcast address to send ping to all clients but use only one ping for each client. So that's why you will use option N1. You are pinning the broadcast address for the client LAN. The command option will send only one ping request rather than the usual four. Ping option N1. 192.168.1.255, enter. Okay, the answer for two, the answer for one, for three, and for four. These four clients. Generate web HTTP traffic. Click to simulation mode. Okay, access to simulation mode here. Click HTTP client and open web browser. Okay, click here and web browser. In the URL file, enter 182.168.154 and click go. This is the IP address of multi server. Okay, HTTP client. 192.168.1.254. Go. And now you will see a PDU. PDU will appear. Also, on simulation panel, you will see the PDU. Minimize, but do not close. Okay. Minimize this. Generate FTP traffic. FTP client here, click here, command prompt, enter FTP 192.168.1.254. Okay, use FTP 192.168.1.254. Con FTP connection to the server, enter. Now you will see the PDU on the topology and on simulation panel. Generate DNS traffic. Okay, on click on DNS client. Command prompt. NS lookup multi server PD PDU. NS lookup multi server dot PD dot PDU. Be careful with these names. Enter. And you will see a DNS uh, PDU email traffic. Okay, click on email client. Click here on email. Compose a new uh, new email. Click here, and this is the destination user. User multi server dot pd dot pdu. Be careful with this and subject and body. Subject, for example, hello and body, hello friend. 
okay and send click to send and you will see the pdu for email verify that the traffic is generated there should now be pdu entries in the simulation panel for each of the client computers okay all computers with uh, pdu examine multiplexing as the traffic crosses the network you will now use the capture forward button in the simulation panel to observe the different protocols traveling on the network okay. down here you can see this uh, this button capture them forward okay and here you can increase the speed i will increase the speed and use this button capture them forward okay and click click now the pdus go to the switch okay all of the pdus travel to the switch and click capture forward six times and watch the pdus from different hosts as they travel on the network not that only one pdu can cross a wire in each direction at any given time okay capture forward okay one pdu to the server click again okay there another pdu again one pdu reaches the the client okay click again and claim okay second pdu reaches the client click again third pdu reaches the client okay this is the is the response from the server okay click again click okay click click again click 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 okay what is this called this is called multiplexing a variety of pdus appears in the event list in the simulation panel these are the pdus in the simulation panel okay all these pdus what is the meaning of different colors okay for example for smtp for email is purple for tcp is green for ftp gray for http purple for dns brown and so the answer is they represent different colors for different protocols okay Re examine functionality of the tcp and udp protocols Examine HTTP traffic as the clients communicate with the server. Reset simulation. Okay, before to click here to reset simulation, I go to real time. Okay, to reset all the connections, go to real time. Click here. HTTP client. Uh, very good. And close this close the web browser on HTTP client on FTP client is uh, waiting for a username press ctrl C to stop this ctrl C okay now you can see the command prompt okay and DNS client okay this is the response for from the server uh, email client okay 
Okay, sand success. Okay, not problem. Now go to simulation. And now you can see the event list is empty. Filter the traffic that is currently displayed to only HTTP and TCP PDUs. Click Edit Filters and Shower Not Button. Okay, now you can see this is the Edit Filters button and Shower Not Button. You will use this. Okay, click on Edit Filters. Okay, there are three tabs, IPv4, IPv6, and miscellaneous, and click on show all none, and none is selected, click on show, show all none, all will be selected. Okay, select HTTP and TCP. Okay, show all none. None is selected. Go to miscellaneous and select HTTP and TCP. Only HTTP and TCP. Okay, close this. And here you can see only HTTP and TCP are selected. Open browser on HTTP client and enter 192.168.1.254, the IP address of the server. HTTP client web browser 192.168.1.254. Okay, and go. Now you can see the PDU on the topology and also on simulation panel on event list. Okay, and capture forward until. You see a PDU appear for HTTP. Okay, this is TCP. Okay, capture forward to to be uh, until you see a PDU appear for HTTP. Okay, click here, capture forward. Okay, the PDU goes to the switch, capture forward goes to server capture forward server uh, responds to the switch capture forward switch uh, send uh, the pdu to the client and this uh, purple pdu will appear okay and the purple pdu is the http the first http pdu why did it take so long for the HTTP PDU to appear? Okay, the answer is because TCP must first establish the connection so that the HTTP traffic can begin. Click the PDU envelope to show the PDU details. Okay, on this purple PDU, click here on the purple PDU that is HTTP Click here on the PDU, outbound PDU details. Okay, on this tab, outbound PDU details. Scroll down to the second to the last section. Okay, last section is HTTP request. The second to the last is TCP. And what is the section labeled? Okay, TCP. Are these communications considered to be reliable? Yes, TCP is in use. Record the source port destination port sequence number and acknowledgement number. Okay, source port is 1026 on client side. The port on the client, okay. The 
the port on the client. Destination port is 80 on the server side. Okay, port 80 for HTTP. Okay, the port on the server 80. Sequence number one, acknowledgement number one. Look at the value in the flux field, which is located next to the window field. Okay. This is the flux field. The values to the right of the B represent the TCP flux. These are the flux. Okay, and the values on the right of the B. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six values. Each of the six places correspond to a flag. The presence of a one in any place indicates that the flag is set. More than one flag can be set at the time. The values for the flags are shown below okay, on this table. Okay, one is finish, two is synchronization, three reset, four push, five acknowledgement, six argent. Okay, which TCP flags are set in this PDUs? Okay, look at this zero one one zero zero zero. Okay, zero one one zero zero zero, and uh, six six values six five four three two one. Okay, five and four are set. So five is acknowledgement and four is uh, push. So the answer here is acknowledgement and push. Close the PDU and click capture forward until a PDU with a check mark returns to the HTTP client. Okay, close this. Click on Capture Forward. Click Message goes to switch. Click uh, Reaches the server. Click Click Another click The PDU reaches the client again with a check mark. Click the PDU envelope and select inbound PDU details. Okay, click here on this uh, purple uh, purple PDU with a check mark. Click here. inbound PDU details. How are the port and sequence numbers different than before? Okay. On TCP section, source port is 80, destination port 1026, sequence number 1 and acknowledgement number 103. So the answer here is the source and destination port are reversed. And the sequence number is 1 and the acknowledgement number is 103. Click the HTTP PDU which HTTP client has prepared to send 
to multi-server. This is the beginning of the HTTP communication. Okay, close this. Okay, and click here this uh, green uh, PDU. Okay, uh, near to the purple PDU. Click here. And outbound PDU details. Outbound. What information is now listed in the TCP section? How are the ports and sequence numbers different from the previous two PDUs? Okay. Uh, on TCP section, source port 1026 on client side, destination port 80. Sequence number 103 and acknowledgement number 234. Okay, and the answer here is the source and destination ports are reversed. Sequence number is 103 and acknowledgement number is 234. Close this. Reset simulation. Okay. Okay, instead of reset simulation, I prefer to go real time and then click simulation. Uh, simulation. Okay, uh, now the event list on the simulation panel is empty. Examine FTP traffic on FTP client. Click on FTP client. Uh, FTP 192.168.1.254 to connect the server. Repeat the previous uh, command. Repeat this command. Okay. And enter. Now you can see the PDU for FTP. Okay. Edit filters. Only display FTP and TCP. Okay. Edit filters. Okay. And select HTTP and only FTP and TCP, only this bot, TCP and FTP. Close this. And now, down here, you can see FTP and TCP selected. Capture forward. Okay, click the second PDU envelope to open it. Okay, this is the first on the left, and this is the second on the right. Click the second PDU. Outbound PDU details. Outbound. TCP section. TCP section. Are these communications considered to be reliable? Yes, TCP is in use. Source port, destination port, sequence number, acknowledgement number. Source port, 1026, destination port, 21 uh, for FTP on server side. Sequence number, zero, acknowledgement number, zero. Okay. Remember, all starts with zero. What is the value in the flag field? This is zero 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 one zero. Okay, copy this uh, down here. Zero 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 one zero. Okay. This value zero 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 one zero. Okay. And only two is set, and two is uh, synchronization. So the answer here is uh, synchronization. Close PDU. Capture forward. 
until uh, PDU returns to the FTP client with a check mark. Okay, capture forward, capture forward, capture forward, capture forward, and capture forward. And you can see a PDU with a check mark on the client side. Click the PDU envelope. Okay, click here. Inbound. Okay, inbound. How are the port and sequence numbers different than before? On TCP section, source port 21, that is FTP, uh, on the server side. Destination port 1026 on client side. Sequence number is zero and acknowledgement number is one. Okay, so the answer here is the source and destination ports are reversed. The sequence number is zero and the uh, acknowledgement number is one. Also, if you see the flags, the TCP flags, you can see 010010. 010010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. 010. Okay, outbound, click here, outbound. How are the ports and sequence number different from the previous results? Okay, TCP, source port 1026, de destination port 21. Sequence number one, acknowledgement number one. Okay, flags. Zero one zero 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 zero. Okay, uh, five be set, and the answer here is the source and destination ports are reversed. Sequence, sequence number is one, acknowledgement number is one, and the flag is five acknowledgement. Close PDU. Capture forward until a second PDU returns to the FTP client. Okay, capture forward, capture forward, capture forward, capture forward, capture forward. Capture forward. Okay, the PDU is a different color. Okay, this PDU, the gray, gray color, FTP. Okay, uh, if you click here, uh, back to the previous event, back, 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 you can see this uh, PDU on the, on the FTP client, okay, and is this, is this, click here, on, um, click here, or click here, Inbound, inbound, TCP section, TCP section, what is the message from the server, 
Okay, FTP response. The message is welcome to Packet Tracer FTP server. Okay, close this reset simulation. Instead of reset simulation, I prefer to go to real time. Real time and go to simulation again. And now, even list on the simulation panel is empty. Examine the NS traffic. Okay, repeat. Uh, the steps in part one. Okay, go to the NS client. Repeat this command. NS lookup multiserver.pd.pdu. Enter. And no. No. Uh, no PDU is shown. Okay. Because only FTP and TCP are selected. And select DNS and UDP. Okay. Edit filters. And select uh, unselect TCP, unselect FTP, select UDP and DNS only. Go to IPv4, DNS, and miscellaneous UDP. Only Close this and you will see only DNS and UDP selected. And now you can see the brown uh, PDU is DNS. Okay, click, click here. Okay, click the PDU envelope and uh, click here. OSI model details uh, outbound PDU. Okay, click here, outbound. What is the layer 4 protocol? Okay. This is the layer 4 protocol. The transport layer is UDP. Are these communications considered to be reliable? No. UDP is in use. Okay, record the source port and destination port values. Source port 1026, destination port 53 for DNS. This is the port for DNS, 53. Why are there no sequence and acknowledgement numbers? Okay, the answer is uh, because UDP does not need to establish a reliable connection. Okay, no sequence numbers. Close PDU. Capture forward. Until a PDU with a check mark returns to the DNS client. Okay, capture forward goes to switch, capture forward, goes to server, capture forward, response from the server, capture forward. Now you can see the the PDU on the client with a check mark. Click here, inbound, okay, click inbound. port and sequence number different than before. How are the port and sequence number different than before? Okay, source port 53 on server side, destination port 1026 on client side. And the answer here is the source and destination ports are reversed. What is the last section of the PDU call it? Okay. 
the last section, okay, is Diana's answer. What is the IP address of the name multiserver.pd.pdu? Okay, this is the name, but the IP address is 192.168.1.254. Reset simulation, close this. Uh, in, instead on uh, reset simulation, I, I prefer to go real time and then go simulation again. Examine email traffic. Okay, repeat steps in part one. Okay, go to email client, compose. Okay, just uh, send uh, another message to this user. Um, multi server that pd pdu uh, another subject for example uh, hi uh, okay and a different message okay and click to send okay and no pdu but Edit filters display only POP3, SMTP, and TCP. Okay, edit filters. Okay, on select UDP, select TCP. SMTP. Okay, simple mail transport protocol and IPv4, on select DNS, on, on miscellaneous, POP3, okay, only TCP, SMTP, and POP3. Close this, and down here you will see POP3, SMTP, and TCP. Okay, click the first PDU. Okay, click here, the first PDU. Now you can see the PDU and click here. Outbound, outbound. What transport layer protocol does email traffic use? Okay, TCP, reliable TCP. Are this communication considered to be reliable? Okay, yes, TCP is in use. Source port, destination port, sequence number, acknowledgement number. Source port 1026, destination port 25. 25 is for SMTP. Sequence number zero and acknowledgement number zero. Okay. What is the flag field value? This is the flag field, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. This, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, number 2 is set. Number 2 is synchronization. So, what is the flag field value? Synchronization. Close PDU. Capture forward until a PDU returns to email client with a check mark. Okay, capture forward, capture forward, capture forward, capture forward. Now you will see a PDU with a check mark. Click here on this PDU with check mark. Inbound PDU. Inbound. How are the port and sequence number different than before? Okay, source port 25 on server side, destination port 1026. Sequence number zero, acknowledgement number one. The answer here is the source and destination ports are reversed and the acknowledgement number is one. 
and also you can see the flags, the TCP flags, 010010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, 010, the another tab outbound PDU. How are the ports and sequence number different from the previous two results? Okay, source port 1026 on client side, destination port 25 on server side for SMTP. Sequence number one, acknowledgement number one. And the answer here is the source and destination ports are reversed. And sequence number is one and acknowledgement number is one. And if you can see the TCP flags zero one zero 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 zero. Okay. Zero one zero 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 zero. Only five is set. Five is acknowledgement. Only acknowledgement. And there is a second PDU of a different color that email client has prepared to send uh, to multi server. Okay, click click here. Uh, close this. Uh, this is the beginning of the email communication. Click this uh, second PDU envelope and select outbound PDU details. Okay. You can see a different color, the SMTP on purple. Uh, the first is the the first PDU is this uh, green uh, PDU with a check mark, but the second is the this purple for SMTP and click here uh, outbound outbound for the ports and sequence numbers different from previous two PDUs source port 1026 destination port 25 for M for SMTP on server side. Sequence number one, acknowledgement number one. TCP flag 011000. Okay, and the answer here is the source and destination ports are reversed. And sequence number is one and acknowledgement number is one. And TCP flags 011000. Only five and four are set. Five and four and uh, acknowledgement push. What email protocol is associated with TCP port twenty five? Okay, for this the answer is SMTP simple mail transport protocol. Um, what protocol is associated with TCP port 110? The answer here is POP3, Post Office Protocol 3. Okay, close this. Thank you very much.